Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm so excited to be part of the Reverse Confetti July 2017 release hop. I have the Mahalo stamp set and matching dies and also this square Hello Square die which is really awesome. So this is going to be my main focus of my card today. I decided to die cut the actual Hello Square out of some design paper and this paper pad is called Under the Umbrella and has some great um, sort of smaller design patterns on them so it's perfect for making cards. I chose a nice bright yellow one because I thought that would work really well with the coconut drink and which is what I'm going to be colouring up today and I'm going to start by just die cutting out the Hello Square with the design paper and I just really like the fact that this die is the main focus of the card and you can make it as um, complicated or as simple as you like. I want my card size to be exactly the same so I'm using a pencil to create some marks on my cardstock and um, then I can just cut the edge off and the second mark that I've made there is where I'm going to score it and of course it doesn't fit exactly in the scoreboard where the line is so the trick is just to keep the paper pushed up to the top of the scoreboard and slide it along so that you're going to be able to score exactly where the edge of that die cut is going to be. I did decide to erase the pencil mark. You're probably not going to see it. It's on the fold of the card, but you know, <laughs> it's in the details. I'm just going to cut the edge off with my paper trimmer and um, Basically my card base is made now exactly the same size as the Hello Square. So I've die cut it a second time but this time I've used some fun foam. This is a three millimeter thick. It's quite a thick fun foam and I've left the whole die cut in place in within the fun foam, added my matte medium and that just means it just helps it keep its shape while I'm adding the design paper on top and then I can just set this aside to dry while I work on my image for the card which of course is the coconut drink how cool is this coconut drink it reminds me of pina coladas or milkshakes maybe <laughs> pineapple milkshakes um, stamped it with my tuxedo black because I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring and I will share this with you today I have uh, mark the left the colors off to the side so that you can see them but I've also listed all the products that I've used over at my blog today and you can find that linked in the description below so I'm going to leave you with the coloring now I'm trying to make this look a little bit coconutty <laughs> so see what you think when I'm finished it does take a little bit of time so I have had to speed this up and I'll be back when all of the coloring is done
all right so now that the die cut is all dry I'm just going to pop away the fun foam and I'm just using my craft knife to help me here you could also use uh, uh, like a pokey tool or something like that if you don't leave it long enough it won't be dry enough to do this so if you're a little bit impatient you just have to be a, a touch more careful so it all doesn't fall apart on you but the matte medium will hold well once it's dry so the reason I use my misty here was so that I could stamp a second time over the top of the same image to give it a bolder blacker outline and I'm just using my onyx black to do that and that makes my coloring it, you know it makes it a little bit more forgiving you can't see where I haven't colored it perfectly on the edges because the onyx black has kind of covered that up a bit then I can use the matching die and I'm just going to run this through my big shot I do like to hold it in place with some uh, low tack tape uh, even though I've got a magnetic plate uh, just because I don't want to start again and I know that it's gonna not it's not going to move <laughs> all right it's time to assemble my card now and I've got a piece of it's kind of like um, a robin's egg color uh, card stock and I'm just covering the whole front of my card with a piece of that and using my ATG gun again to add some adhesive around the edge of the die cut where the die cut's going to sit on the card front because I don't like to add too much glue to liquid glue to my card I find that it can warp so this just um, probably would have been easy to use some score tape in retrospect because it did get, did get a little bit sticky on the edges but how I got around that was just to use my powder tool on on the edge just to take the adhesive away I've die cut one of the little strips with some hot pink um, this is just some scrap cardstock and then I'm gonna pop up my drink <laughs> my pina colada I'm gonna call it a pina colada and I do want it to sit slightly higher than the hello so what I've done here is I've added some foam circles some adhesive um, foam circles and then use some of the same fun foam on top of that added some liquid glue to that and then just sort of shift it around till I'm happy with the placement on the front of my card I want to bring the pink in again so I've got some nouveau gloss drops and these are the carnation pink which is really similar to the hot pink that I used and if you're not really keen on coloring the good thing about this stamp set is it also has stamping elements so you can do this with just stamping out your colors which would look fabulous too but I felt like coloring today thanks for joining me I hope you're having so much fun this release is amazing head round to everybody else's blogs I'll have them all linked on at my blog and I can't wait to see all the other creations creations <laughs> and I know that you're gonna have heaps of fun too so till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.